So we see aortic regurgitation presenting with the corrigans for sweat beriberi or patent ductus arteriosus. So the essence is whenever you have a wide pulse pressure, you can have a collapsing or water hammer type of pulse. So in all these cases, you generally see wide pulse pressure. Hi guys, Dr. Patil here and today I am going to talk about an essential feature on the Propladder app which some of you may not be fully aware of. It's called Treasures, right? So if you open the Propladder app, you will see a button called Treasures. And in true sense, they are treasures. Because see, when you are preparing for any entrance examination, questions can be fact-based, concept-based or application-based, right? We do en encounter substantial chunk of questions coming from the facts. And remembering facts is a big challenge. Because they are merely facts, I also don't believe that examiners should be asking such questions, right? Testing your memory. Exam should be testing you on your conceptual understanding of the subject and your application of the concepts rather than facts. But still, the fact is exams test your memory. And to enhance our memory, to remember all the information that is served to us in the form of standard textbooks is next to impossible, right? Like, not even the three years of residency, not, a, not even the three years post-residency preparation would be adequate for us to remember all of that information. So what are the hacks around that? One is we try to create mnemonics which do help us in remembering some of the facts. But again, if you create mnemonics for all the facts, right, then probably you end up creating mnemonics for remembering those mnemonics. That's also not the very efficient way. right? Some facts which are extremely bland, maybe you can remember with mnemonics. But remaining flag facts... You need to remember with a little clinical correlation and somehow you have to create a memory of your own, right? So that is where treasures help in because treasures summarize the important facts from a particular topic that you need to know in one page information, right? So you don't need to dig deep into your standard textbooks searching for the facts and at the same time, when the treasures are available to you in your pocket, right? So whenever you have free time, maybe even two or three minutes, you can open one treasure Spend some time with that and your memory is enhanced. When you do it repeatedly, right, you become a pro in that and that's what makes you an achiever in the examination. So one such treasure I'm going to explain you today. So under the cardiovascular medicine, the types of pulses. For a postgraduate student, I shouldn't be talking about the types of pulses, but, but still, I'm sure if I post a question of the types of pulses, which is very simple, basic, I'm still sure that at least 15 to 20 percent of the postgraduates will also answer them wrongly because we are still vulnerable for confusions. Our memory still creates challenges for us, right? So this is one treasure, like if you go through multiple times of this treasure during your leisure times or when you're traveling in your metros or when you're in between the OPD consultations, that will cement your memory. Types of pulses. Important MCQs that have been asked in the past are where do you see anachronic pulse? Where do you see pulses parvus et tardis, right? Where do you see Corrigan's pulse? Where do you see water hammer pulse or collapsing pulse or Corrigan's pulse? Where do you see diacrotic pulse? These are all frequently asked MCQ points, right? Okay, so we know that anacrotic pulse is seen in severe valvular aortic stenosis, right? So slow rising, late peaking pulse. Similarly, we have this pulse called as bisphariance pulse, where there are two peaks in the systole, right? Where there are two peaks in the systole. Where do you see that? We see that in patients with AR. We see that in patients with AR, predominant AR plus an added AS, right? And we can also see that in patients with HOC. AR is the main thing to remember here. AR, AR with AS or HOC. That is where we will be seeing the bisphariance pulse. Then where do we see water hammer collapsing or Corrigan's pulse? Look at the options provided, right? So we see aortic regurgitation presenting with the Corrigan's pulse, sweat beriberi or patent ductus arteriosus. So the essence is whenever you have a wide pulse pressure, you can have a collapsing or water hammer type of pulse. So in all these cases, you generally see wide pulse pressure, right? Okay. Then we have a dichrotic pulse. So dichrotic pulse is where you have two peaks, but not both peaks appearing in systole. Like in bisphariens, you have two peaks, both peaks appearing in systole. In dichrotic, there are two peaks, one in systole, the other one is in Diastole. Clearly appreciable peaks, one in systole, one in diastole. That's what we call as dichrotic pulse. And that is typically seen in dilated 
cardiac myopathy one more frequently asked question where do you see pulses alternance right so we see pulse, pulses alternance in severe left ventricular failure yes we do also see in anterior valve lamen most important thing you need to remember is severe left ventricular failure where you see pulses alternance okay one more one more mcq point pulses bijamini right so basically bijamini ventricular bijamini manifesting in bijaminous pulse where do we see that digoxin toxicity with ventricular bijamini right okay then is pulses paradoxes now pulses paradoxes is not something that we generally appreciate rather we look at the blood pressure of the patient right so for pulses paradoxes we are measuring the bp right inspiratory fall in bp more than 10 millimeters of mercury systolic right sbp fall in inspiration by more than 10 millimeters of mercury we call it as pulses paradoxes where do we see that where do we see pulses paradoxes long list of causes pericardial tamponade inferior wall mi constrictive pericarditis severe copd or core pulmonary severe bronchial asthma pulmonary embolism acute core pulmonary or the superior vena cava obstruction as in case of apical tumors right all these patients can present with what is called as pulses paradoxes right now in, in this treasure we have covered at least 15 important mcq points now to cover 15 important mcq points probably you need to watch one of videos or some 15 mcq discussion videos but when you look at treasures right all these points are quickly summarized i wouldn't recommend you to start with treasures first go through the system right study the text study the notes or go through the video lectures solve mcq but after that for a quick revision come to treasures right you will be able to relate most of the points that you have already discussed in the main videos right so in the main videos of valvular heart diseases concepts behind all these abnormal pulses would have been already discussed now when you read that okay i do see a water hammer kind of pulse in aortic regurgitation you can correlate the faculty telling you that the water hammer pulse is associated with any condition where there is a wild pulse pressure so you can start correlating and that enhances your memory better so put the treasures to the right use and improve your memory and get the good score in your examination Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.